And we're now in Darkoan's castle. This is full of booby traps and weird enemies, so bear with me. Also, any sound errors you hear are actually the fault of the game and not uh, my computer setup. It ha kind of has a lot to make it slow down, like the very detailed background of the forest there. You'll notice little spots where the bricks look a little different. Those are uh, pressure plates for uh, booby traps, and I'm going to avoid them when necessary. Often they make flames appear. I just picked up a jar, which is actually five vials. Also, these bricks here can only be destroyed by the blockbuster magic, so uh, we get to use out of our new fire as soon as we get it. You'll also notice many points where the uh, enemies do weird things because of the uh, draw distance and stuff like that. Here's a little side path where we use our blockbuster again. Sorry, it's sometimes hard to aim properly without getting hurt. These frog type enemies often will jump off screen. Ah, and this booby trap is tricky because they give you the temptation of a jar. However, if you hit it just right, you can grab it without any troubles. Note the giant ball up above, that will drop if you hit the pressure plate and come right at you. If we had, we're missing a health point, we could go grab this heart here, but we're not, so we don't need it. This isn't too hard, but I want to position correctly. And here's what that pressure plate does. And I... Huh. All right. Well, let's just keep going. He's just going to keep going up there, isn't he? Anyways, we want to be quick and hit that pressure plate to drop the ball. Gonna keep going to the top. And there he goes. Okay, up here now, we're halfway through this level, we have wind blowing us. It's constantly pushing us to the left, which makes it a lot harder to navigate the area. If you can see, I have a block to my left, so it was stopping me there. Nonetheless, you want to be really careful where you go. And oh my god, what is that? Oh god! That was a demon, which is the hardest of the non-boss enemies in this game. As you can see, they just kind of aim straight at you and they take a lot of hits to get take care of. Ugh, I don't do a good job at all fighting him this time around. It's possible to just leave him in the back, like, scroll him off screen, but that does not work very well. Here I use my, uh, essence of the cyclone there to, uh, e-tank myself, and I still get hit several times. And he's finally dead. Ugh. These, uh, blockbuster blocks are a lot harder to hit because you have the wind pushing you all the time. I do like the lightning in the background though, that's a really awesome detail. I didn't get a chance to say it either, but you might notice that the sound is much more corrected up here on top because we don't have those trees in the background. And here now the wind is gone, we're done with the storm, whatever. I was trying to see if I could get to that top block, but, uh, whatever. Here's the boss, Belzimos. He's actually really easy, and I'm not worried about my health. He turns into four bees that split in diagonals, and then when he stops, he launches a fireball at you. A lot of these platforms are set up in a way where you're pretty immune to him. I, uh, 
could have destroyed him a lot faster, but I just I wanted to show him off better so you could see him well. Normally, I can usually kill him by his uh, second solidifying there up on the top platform. But yeah, he's pretty easy. He might be the easiest boss of all of them in the game. And that's it. We are done with the castle level. Let's just go right through the door.